All right, so welcome back to Deliver Coding. In today's video, we're going to build the React Music app. So, and here's the demo look like. So as you can see, we can uh, have the um, slide right here so that we can change the time and we can have the button to play the music. And also we show the beat of the music as well. And we also change the music um, as well. So this is going to be a Siri video. In the first part, we're going to build the UI of this one. And in the next part, we're going to implement the uh, of the play right here. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here I'm using VS Code. So you can use any target that you want. And this is just a boilerplate from Create React Apps. And this is PWA. So if you want to do that, so you can go into the PWA. I list the link in the description. So you run the Create React Apps. So they give you app's name and then you give a template with uh, specify that we want to work with PWA. And so, so then it's going to have this one. So right now we have the app.js that display the hello world and I have the app.css. And also I have the assets that have the image. So there's two images right now. And this one is the actual like the use image and this one is the place a uh, whole level image for the, I'm doing the lazy load image for this one. All right, so, and I have already installed the uh, lazy load image right here, the, uh, the library for doing that. So you can uh, go ahead and do that as well. And for the image I'm using from pixel.com and I'll leave the link in the descriptions. All right, so let's get started. So first what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna build a UI as you can see right here. And so, Let's do it. So I'm gonna write the Mac app first and then we're gonna do some styling later for this one. So as we can see right here, we have the root um, that's gonna put everything here into the middle and then we have the image, we have the titles, uh, the song right here and also we have the uh, input bar right here and also the icon right here. Okay. So, and go back into the apps.js. I'm gonna put this one in another div. And then I'm gonna do the lazy load image. And then with the source, it's gonna come from the public a process dot env, a public URLs, plus uh, it's gonna be assets slash img.jpg. Okay, right now I'm gonna give the width of this one, it's gonna be 355 pixels if we go back there we go we should we just could see this one and then uh, next is we're gonna have the uh, title so it's gonna be h1 and it's gonna be the paragraph so I'm gonna have uh, to go and copy this one and then this one I'm gonna do the randoms and the next thing is we're gonna have the range for that. So I'm gonna put this one in a this. So I'm gonna have the input. So the type of this one is gonna be range, not range. <laughs> so the type of this one is gonna be equal to range. And then we have the min uh, start from zero to start from zero to the max is gonna be a hundred. And then the next is we're gonna have the controller for the for our, for our button and for that, uh, I'm using this um, hero icon right here. I'll leave the link in the description as well. So I'm gonna copy this one. And I'm copy this one. So, okay. Two of that. And then the last thing is I'm gonna do the play button. Okay, this one. So you can need to do with field. So you outline, so whatever you like. So I'm gonna do this, copy this one. This one is go going to go into the middle. Okay. So right now, there we have it. So it's really large icon. So we're gonna do some styling to this one. So the first, I'm gonna style this one. Uh, first, so I'm gonna give the class name to this one. So I'm gonna give, uh, so I'm gonna do control D. So I'm gonna select all of this and remove. So I'm gonna do the uh, class is gonna be BTN. All right, so then I'm gonna open the app of CSS right here so you can see side by side. And okay, for our BTN is gonna give the class is gonna be, height is gonna be 60 pixels and the width is gonna be 80 pixels. Oh no, no, actually it's gonna exactly the same height and width. Okay, good. 
All right. So the next thing is I'm gonna do with the root. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna display this one as flex, and I'm gonna give justify this one uh, content center and also align item to the center as well to make everything in the center. Then we give the height of this one is gonna be 100 vh. So then it's not working because I haven't added the class name to this one just yet. So root. There we go. And then we need the background for this one. So I'm gonna pick the color. So this one. So this is the color. So I'm gonna give the background color this one. And and then this is gonna be our container. So I'm gonna copy this one for our container as well. So this one is gonna give a class name for this one. It's gonna be a container. And then I'm gonna do dot uh, container. Container is gonna be a background color. It's gonna be this one. All right, so right now we go back. There we go. So we can have this one. So next is we're gonna resize our image a little bit and we give the width of this one of a container as well. So I'm gonna give the width of this one is gonna be um, 400 pixels. Okay, and I'm gonna put everything into the center tech align center. As you can see right now, everything go into the center. Okay, um, next is we are going to do some styling for our image. So it's gonna be IMG right here. I'm gonna give the class name of this one to the IMG. So we're gonna give the width uh, to 365 pixel and the height to 360, the same. So we want to have that square. That's why we're going to do the border radius. It's going to go with the full circle of this one. There we go. And then I want to have the pattern inside this one. It's going to be 15 pixels. Okay, that's looking good. And I think that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, for this one, I'm going to do the border radius. It's going to be 20 pixels. Okay. So the next thing is we're gonna do is we're gonna have the uh, the title right here. So what I can do is to give this one. I'm gonna give the class name of this one as song info. And then for the song info, we're gonna do song uh, info. So each one is gonna be font size is gonna be four m. And then we're gonna give the color of this one. It's gonna be white. And then we're gonna have the song info slash p. And then we're gonna color this one. It's gonna be. I'm gonna give it ddd right here. And I'm gonna font give the font family for this one. It's gonna be sensor. Okay. So this is it. And for this one, I'm gonna use font called uh, Neko Neko one right here. At least the link in the description as well. So please go ahead and copy this one, and we're gonna put that one inside our index.html. So you can paste it anywhere you want. So I, I have already done that. So I'm gonna close this one. So for the each one, we're gonna do font family. It's gonna be so I'm gonna copy and paste from here. Okay, so there we go. So we have this one, and I'm gonna give the margin for this one to zero, so it's not really large. Okay, good. And the next thing is we gonna do is to style our input uh, right here. So for that, uh, I think I'm gonna give the class name of this one. It's gonna be input. And for our input is what I'm gonna do is to I'm gonna give the width of this one is gonna be the 90%. All right, that's looking good. And I'm gonna give the margins top and bottom to 15 pixels. So margin bottoms is gonna be 15 pixel as well. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is gonna do appearance to none. And then I'm gonna set the height of this one to one pixels. There we go. And then we're gonna do the input focus. So as you can see, when we focus, it's gonna be, we have some outline and I'm gonna remove that outline. So outline to none. And all right, that's looking, uh, that's looking good. 
and what we're gonna do next is we're gonna change this blue this one right here so for that we're gonna do the input so input the flash web kit uh, slide there's some so it's the same thing as appearing none so right now we cannot see this one so for that we're gonna do the height of this one is gonna be 25 pixels and now we're gonna do the width this one 25 pixel as well and now we can give the background color of the this one is gonna be white and we're gonna do border radius 100% so it's gonna go with it's gonna go circle okay that's good and the last thing is we're gonna do the controller right here so I'm gonna give this class name of this one is gonna be controller and then for this one we're gonna I'm gonna do is to go controller so I'm gonna display this one as flex you want to justify this one evenly space evenly in a line item to be center okay that's good uh, and then we're gonna change this one so the field color right here so I'm gonna control D this one until like uh, all of the field color from the here I'm gonna change this one to white nice um, for display button right here I want it to a little bit bigger than the other one so I can change like so for now I can do this inline style for this one so I'm gonna give the width this one is gonna go with the 80 pixels and not XP pixels and then the height of this one is gonna be um, 80 pixels as well so I'm gonna re remove the class from here and there we go Right, so now it's looking a little bit uh, the same. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on responsiveness. So like, let's see if we go on the screen, small screen, it's for the iPhone 6 is okay. A really small screen is iPhone 5. Like for the iPhone 5, it's not looking good. So for that, we're gonna do, let's see. So I'm gonna do add media. I want to do the max width of this one let's say 500 pixels so I mean like 500 pixel below I want to image this one is gonna have the width to only to this one and the height only 255 and 250 as well okay it's looking good and I want to have the container I'm gonna remove the background of this one so background is gonna go none okay I think that should do it so now I think everything is looking fine for me I think the text right here is a little bit large so we're gonna do the song info the dash h1 I'm gonna do the font size this one is gonna be only three rams yes and okay right now I think everything is okay we go an iPad we have this one Alright, so I think that's pretty much it for this video. So we finished our UI. In the next video, we're going to work on functionality of this uh, music app. So um, thank you for watching until the end. So see you guys in the next video. And don't forget to share this with your friend. And don't forget to like and subscribe as well. Alright, so peace.